Yo, what's up everyone? I'm in an absolutely amazing mood today. Despite the fact of being fucking sick, but I don't give a fuck, I'm still gonna post a video for you guys. And no, it's not COVID. The penguins are mute! The penguins are mute to COVID, baby! I don't get COVID, bro! I'm too sick already! Because I discovered what I truly, from the bottom of my heart, think is better than Pure Endemian. This deck is better than Pure Endemian. And no, it's not garbage ass two and a half negate Dragon Link. No, it's not garbage ass 1.5 negate Inferno Bowl. No, it's not garbage ass 0.0, .0 negate Alistair Invoke deck. It it is the best deck. It is Pendulum Synchro, baby. It is DDs. It is Zephyrus. It is Pendulum Magicians. It is a Demian. Now you might be thinking, Trip, every week you tell me there's a new Pendulum deck that's the best deck. I never actually give you guys replays to prove it. For this video, I'm not going to be showing you guys one replay. I'm not going to be showing you guys five replays. I'm going to be showcasing you guys 20 different replays on why this deck is the best deck in the game right now this deck can do something that no pendulum deck could have ever done in history the issue of pendulums is that you cannot play hand traps in a pendulum deck well this deck the hand traps are offensive because going first you pen pendulum summon the hand traps make needle fiber ends on herald and dragoon with pen summon two cards from your extra deck for free making like master of five doesn't exist it's the best deck so if you guys are ready for this video i'm trying something totally new for this video i did 20 replays of this deck and then i'm gonna follow it up with a deck list but only you guys will only get the deck list if this video gets 500 likes so make sure to smash the like button make sure to smash the subscribe button because i will release the deck list of this video once it reaches 500 likes so we're ready for the video smash the subscribe button and it's time bro it's time it's time to show you guys what the best deck is i know it's not demon it's not dragon link it is pendulum synchro let's go baby it's pendulum synchro time let's go <laughs> Let's go, boys. I'm hyped for this video. Zephra DDD, Pendulum Magician, and Demian combined with Synchro Hand Traps is the best deck, Pendulum deck, and best deck in the game right now. Why? Look at this, bro. Look at this. We got Ash. We don't even care. Like, Ash doesn't even exist. We end on Herald, Savage, Conan Trap, multiple cards in hand, and it's auto win. And normally you have the Dragoon, but we hard draw the Fusion, and we still clap them. What about this game two over here? We're going to do 20 replays here super fast. If it's too fast for you, there's 20 replays. So who gives a shit? Just watch them all. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Look at this, bro. Like, this guy puts up this card. I'm like, infinite track. I hit Waking the Dragon, unfortunately. But I mean, it literally just doesn't matter. We're going to hit that. At this point, I recognize, yo, I don't have Mighty Master in my deck. Uh, it's going to be a little tough to deal with this card. Thanks to no Mighty Master. I'm like, just, just take the win, bro. Just take the win. Going first is an auto win. So I'm just going to go fucking uh, go here first. Look at this, you kind of brick someone on a hand trap and a divine strike. Do you care? No! You don't care because this deck just doesn't brick. Bricks aren't real bricks. We bricked here and we still end on Dragoon, Jackal, Savage, Divine Strike, Ghost Ogre, five interruptions. We're gonna go to another replay here. This one, we, we brick, brick bad, right? So this looks really bad. This looks, you hard drew Dark Magician and Red Eyes in a 60 card deck. This looks like it bricks, but you're through Gamma, you're gonna put up four negates through Gamma, bro. Through Gamma, you're going to put a 4 negate. So that's just absolutely ridiculous. This deck does some incredible stuff. We're going to put up Savage. We're going to put up Jackal King. We're going to put up Divine Strike and Ghost Ogre. And we have 4 cards in hand still. Through While drawing the Red Eyes and Dark Magician. This deck's insane. I firmly believe it is better than Pure Endemian. Because of the sole reason that you're allowed to play Hand Traps. We're facing Dragon Link here. So we're putting in 4 Hand Traps. It stops him, but unfortunately we don't draw one of our starters. The reason why this deck works and the reason why the 20 hand the, the your post side deck you're playing 27 hand traps against Dragon Link and Inferno Bull. They're gonna pass their turn 90% of the time. The reason why this deck works is that the hand traps are offensive. So if you were to be able to pen summon one monster, one Zephyr Nui, you get your counter trap, you survive through you survive through the Nibiru. So you survive through the Nibiru because you have a counter trap through Nibiru no matter what. And then you normal summon at the very end and go Needle Fiber and still continue with the combo. You almost always have a Dragoon plus a counter trap. And that's like the, the bare minimum you're ever going to get. Here we're going to easily destroy him. Now we're going to go to the next game here. We got 20 replays. If it's too fast for you, there is, this is the only way for 20 replays. We brick there and we still won. Counter trap, Ash, let's go. Easy. Uh, sorry, we actually lost that one. I'm sorry. We lost that one, but that's fine. We're going to give him game one. Game two, we brick again. We aren't able to pen summon. Every brick is not a brick. We bricked here, and we have five negates. A brick equals five negates. You don't get that in any other deck on the planet. 
that's the beauty of the style of deck we have here. So here he, he opens so broken. The Dear Servant, uh, full Buster combo, etc. We put in Mighty Master back in our deck at this point after we noticed that it was really bad against the Infant Track card. And for anyone who loves Pendulums, you got to watch this entire video, man. This is going to show you why this is, truly is the best deck. At, look at this, bro. Through the Buster Lock and the Buster Lock is game for so many decks, we destroy his whole board like nothing. Look at this. Like, it's just easy. He changes his trap card to protect this card, and we just destroy him there. We're going to go into a nice game here. 20. These are all in a row. These are all in a row. In the comments down below, what do you think I finished in 20 games? We have 20 games. What do you think I finished, boys? What? Do you, what uh, let's get a vote. What do you guys think? Do you think I think I finished 15 and 5, 16 and 4? Let me know what you guys think. Because uh, if it's anything uh, more than two losses, you guys are disrespecting the greatest deck in the game right now. These are 20 straight replays of what I think is the best deck. Here he ashes, and I don't really care much. And again, some more theory on this deck for you guys while you guys watch this incredible replay. Every replay here is amazing. They're just straight in a row. Some, of course, you're going to face some bad play every now and then. But this is 20 replays in a row. I'm doing book rated. Let's go, boys. Let's go. So look at this here. So... We go pen call, we get all these, send Zephrath, Zephyr Noe, he imperms to Zephyr Noe, and that's totally fine. We're going to go Fiber Selene, he's going to Nibiru us here, it literally just doesn't matter. We get uh, Kepler at the end phase, uh, we actually extravagance, he passes, and we're going to just kill him on our turn. And he's going to scoop right after he sees the second Needle Fiber. This deck is just ridiculous. Game 3, uh, his hand traps are actually a little too much for us, because the hand traps that we have... Even, let's say you face a meta deck here. If we have one Zephyr Nui instead of, like, any card here, that's the beauty. Like, one Zephyrath gives you the Zephyr Nui trap through any interruptions. Your opponent can hand trap you as many times as you want, and you're still guaranteed your counter trap and hand traps. That's why I love this deck. Through hand traps, it puts a multiple interruptions. Unfortunately, in game two, our hand traps weren't good against his deck. He's playing uh, the Go Second on Chain deck, and he Imperms are, are ready. We ask his extravagance, and that's the beauty of this deck. Uh, in pure pendulums, if your opponent stops your play, you cannot play because you have no hand traps, you have no counter trap. But in this deck, if your opponent hand traps you, you still always have your counter trap. All you got to do is open one of your 14, 15 ways into Zephyr Nui. So as long as you could pendulum summon a Zephyrath, you're guaranteed the, the base interruption of, of the Zephyr counter trap. And on top of that, you're guaranteed your hand traps that you have. Here we hard draw Red Eyes Fusion, which is very unfortunate for this deck. The sole reason you're playing 60 cards is not to draw Red Eyes Fusion. And I know a lot of people might think, yo, Trip, why are you playing Red Anaconda and Dragoon and Pendulums? But the way this deck is built is all hand traps are offensive. Your Red Anaconda is like, if your opponent's going to hand trap you into Oblivion, and your worst case scenario, you're going to have a Dragoon and a Counter Trap. That's like the worst case scenario. And your hand traps in hand. So why would you, as a worst case scenario, the best, the most played deck, Dragonling, puts up two and a half negates. So you could put up two negates with your worst hand. So why would you not want to do that? You're guaranteed the counter trap of ready through any hand. Look at this hand. This is like the worst hand ever, right? This is the worst hand ever. And we're still guaranteed the needle fiber with a hand trap in hand. This is the worst fucking hand ever, by the way. We open literally fucking three Zephyrats, bro. And we still end up ready in Akonda, Herald, and Valor. And that's more than enough. And for the people that say, oh, you can't Valor under Herald, bro. Well, you're obviously going to fucking Herald first and then Valor after. So just like that, we're totally good here. This is the beauty of this deck. Now he's playing the dagger here. He's playing the buster deck. He's talking a little shit in the comments saying pendulum, uh, pendulum this, pendulum that, pendulum sucks. Uh, so, uh, like, I'm like, bro, don't talk shit. I'm gonna fucking destroy you. If you talk shit to the pen god, I will destroy you. Plain and simple. So here I'm gonna get some effects here. I'm gonna get some free pluses. I'm gonna get as many negates as possible here as, as I can. I have, unfortunately, I a dark magician. And I literally have to get to the point that pen summon it. That's how bad the situation I had was. Uh, but I still destroy him. He said uh, pendulum boost everything and I uh, two what his ass. Anyways, let's go here. We're gonna go needle fiber uh, Needle fiber summon. He's going he's playing uh, ABC uh, Cyber dragons, which is pretty cool actually or ABC like cyber dragon infinity uh, Turbo well, we have all our hand traps here to protect us and as you see just just pay close attention to the duels I'm not even gonna commentate the rest of the duels. Just look at the duels man. Look at the hand right here Look at the hand. This deck is absolutely insane like we're like I said, 20 replays. So far we're we're, we're seven and oh so far. So far we are seven and oh. Look, just look at all these replays, man. Just look at every replay. They are all ridiculous. Like all these replays you guys are about to witness. And this is gonna be a very long video, man. It's a 25 minute long video of 20 fucking replays that are all fucking unrated to prove to you guys that I from the bottom of my heart think this deck is better than Endymion. And not just better than Endymion, but I think this is better than every single deck in the game right now. I think this is the number one deck in the world right now. 
Pendulum is the best deck, but it is not Endymion. This is the best deck. Look, look for yourself here. Uh, he, we're, we lost the die roll, and he put up some serious damage, and he's still just not enough. Look at this comeback, bro. Look at this fucking comeback. What a fucking, what a fucking deck. What a fucking deck. What a comeback. We're 8 0 right now, man. We're 8 0. What a fucking deck. What a fucking deck. Here we break a little. Going second, I don't like opening pen call, but we ash his red eyes fusion. He passes his turn. He's going to Buster Lock us, and Buster Lock hurts. As you guys see, once you get high up, like around 1000 rating, a lot of people are playing Buster deck. The Buster deck's very fucking good, man. I'm going to make a video on it soon. The Buster deck's very, very powerful. Uh, he literally just outright stopped me from playing and then ultimates me with access code the following turn uh, and puts up a second fucking buster what can i do here i have mighty master but i don't have enough ways to get the counters so i have to i lose that one so we're gonna go to game two here and uh he hit, hits that he double hand traps so i'm like fuck a double hand trap and i have no other uh i have no other uh cards in my hand to go uh no other hand traps i'm like fuck you got that one that was our first loss of the day uh nine and one right we're eight and one right now let's see if we could get nine and one uh, eight and one tops of YCS or nine and one eight and two tops of YCS. So even if we lose this, we already top of YCS from our last ten games. But we're gonna play twenty games. So at the top of YCS, you gotta go about nine and one, uh, eight and two, nine and one guarantees your top. Uh, so here we're actually playing uh, pure Zephyr, which is hilarious. How many times do you see two Zephyrs duel each other in dueling book? But uh, bro, Pen just best deck. I'm Baylor, his, his, uh, Zephyr, uh, this is, by the way, Zephyr Path, for any, uh, player, uh, out there watching this video that likes Zephyrs, don't fucking play Zephyr Path in your deck, bro. Zephyr Path is absolutely ass. If you play Zephyr Path, you automatically lock yourself into only playing Zephyrs. So what about, you, do you see my combo right here? I'm doing this shit, like, I can do this shit before a pen summon, bro. Like, how many decks could do that? How many decks could do that? You know, like, like. How many decks could do that? It's not the situation here. I did pen summon here, but I'm saying, like, I could usually do this board without pen summoning. And now, when you activate Zephyrath, your whole field fucking dies. Fuck that. Uh, here, we, like, this replay is also super amazing. You guys are gonna learn a lot. Like, look at this hand. This hand has no fucking pendulum cards. He gammaed our fucking needle fiber, but we still put up Dragoon and Ghost Ogre and Nibiru. So, through the fucking uh, gamma that fucked up our hand, we had no pen summon. We had no pendulum summon whatsoever. And we still put up Dragoon, uh, Valor Nibiru. Uh, we're still gonna be able to do some stuff here. Uh, we're gonna go into Link Ross, and it's just game at this point. Like, it's just game. It's game, bro. It's game. See ya. Pack it up, buddy. It's game. Against Infernoble. Nibiru, uh, Dragoon, and Ghost Ogre. This game against any fucking combo deck, bro. You just fucking Nibiru the whole board, and then Dragoon protect, uh, the, get rid of the Herald, etc. Uh, I saw didn't wait too many Lancias here. I'm playing Lancia for Dino, uh, Dragon Link, all these other decks, even Invoked. But you have to side in every hand trap you have in your side deck. At this point, we're like, what, 11 and 1, 10 and 1? We just don't lose. And these are all in a row, man. These are not like pinpointed. I don't have that much time in my hand. I don't play fucking 50 games a day, bro. I take literally 20 games in a row, and I'm doing commentated replays for you guys here on what I truly think is the best deck. These are all 20 replays in a row, unrated, on Dueling Book rated. And we just can't lose with this deck. This is the same deck I took to the LCS. Unfortunately, when I went to the LCS, I bricked fucking... It was some insane shit. It was like drawing Red Eyes Fusion, Dark Magician, and Red Eyes in the same hand. It was like crazy stuff like that. Uh, so, so the LCS was unfortunate for us when we took this deck to it. And I misplayed a few times. But after I, the LCS, I realized how powerful this deck was. All Most of my losses were like mini misplays slash unfortunate events. So... Uh, I took this again to rate it uh, just to show myself how powerful this deck is So we lose that game there against Dino, but I really don't care. I let him go first. I'm like, I'm gonna <laughs> absolutely destroy your board uh, He ashes that I'm like, I literally just don't care Brady Anaconda, he has no answer whatsoever because I just negate it against uh, Dinos Let them go first and just fucking Brady Anaconda, bro. What are they gonna do? Conductor your random level link one Take your level one and put it to Link Karibo. You just can't lose. You, you, it's impossible. Uh, so we win that one We're gonna go to the next game here at this moment, we're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're 11 and 1 right now. We're 11 and 1 with our goal to go 19 and 1. Uh, our goal is to go 20 and 0, obviously. After this situation, we mourn the fiber, and we're, we're absolutely good to go here. He goes into the formula. I go through the formula because I don't want it to go formula double token into, into Herald. Uh, and then he drew, drew into Ash. That's kind of unfortunate. All I'm left with is the a Selene play. Uh, so it's okay though. It's it's literally totally fine. This is still gonna be game. Uh, well, one can hope that this is still gonna be game. He pop he hits that. 
And this is a super unfortunate actually, he can still is sold. But the question is, can he still combo with his fiber gun? Does he play a second needle fiber and there drops a second needle fiber? I'm like, bro, how the fuck do you play a second needle fiber and a second in soul day? What kind of deck are you playing, bro? And then uh, he keeps going here. All hope looks lost, right? Well, it's not. Uh, all of his cards are gone. Like, he has no ways to play and I win that. Like, I literally, what a what a deck. He admitted defeat there because, bro, like, this deck just too good. What can he do to this deck? It's, uh, look at this. We, we land see that. We're going to Nibiru as soon as... Uh, humanly possible, but there's a high chance we still lose this one. I had the Nibiru right there in case he just went for a uh, way to stop it. The Nibiru, my turn here. I go for that. And it's this game, bro. Look at this. Like, this deck's insane. Uh, if he Nibiru's at any point, you have the Jackal. Even if he Nibiru, a Nibiru fucking Veiler or something, you still have a Counter Trap and an Ash Blossom. Do you guys get what I'm saying? How through hand traps, you're still guaranteed whatever hand trap you open, plus your Counter Trap. You're guaranteed it. Another hand where we hard draw the, the Red Eyes Fusion. Uh, but it's totally fine. Red Eyes, I hate drawing Red Eyes Fusion. Uh, I absolutely hate it because now we only have two, uh, three, we have three negates here. But he's playing a really good deck, man. He's playing, uh, he's gonna get me. Uh, he actually uh, chain blocks. He's gonna chain block the Levin here. And uh, I'm like, oh, this, this is just bad. Pops a bunch of my cards. I hit that. I need to survive here. He gammas that, which really fucking hurt. Chain, uh, pops all that. Like, this is looking hella bad. He just needs to get rid of my Dragoon. I'm trying to stop him from getting rid of my Dragoon. I have one uh, interruption left, and then all he has to do is get rid of my Dragoon, man. And I just, he's going to go Boral Sword here. I have to negate that because he gets enough cards and he gets rid of my Dragoon. I'm like, fuck! He gets rid of it, and it's unfortunate. Game 1 goes to him. Maybe if I didn't draw the Red Eyes Fusion, that would have been different, but that's fine. I mean, how many times are you going to draw Red Eyes Fusion in a 60 card deck? We drew Red Eyes Fusion like three times already in like, what, 15 duels? Which is like, let's do the math on that. It's insane. It's like fucking 0%, 0.1% has kind of happening. He goes uh, Appaloosa. Uh, which very unfortunate for me because that means my Nibiru is not going to resolve. I'm like, fuck, and uh, that's just game at this point. GG there. Let's go, boys. We lost that, but it's fine. How are you going to bounce back from a loss? When I play at a YCS, I tell myself, like, bro, I got to go 8-2 uh, to put myself in a position to top. Well, how are we going to put ourselves in a position to top here against a uh, Unicorn facing us? Well, by playing the best deck, that's how. We go out of our way here to negate any card that will stop us from killing the Unicorn. Put a counter on Jackal to stop everything of like that. Then we go Dragoon. And it's just easy. This is this deck's insane. This deck is ridiculous. This deck is ridiculous. I'm a big fan of this deck. I'm going to be playing this deck in any tournament moving forward. I think this deck is better than every single deck. The only deck that actually has a chance against this deck is Pure Endymion. But Pure Endymion loses the draw way too much. This deck could still do stuff with draw. You have hand traps. You have the DD engine to go needle fiber through hand traps. You have Zephyr Nui. That at least pen summon. Normal summon hand trap. Go with needle fiber. And one needle fiber in this deck equals Dragoon plus Herald. Plus hand traps plus counter trap. Plus whatever else you pen summon. Typically a Savage Dragon because you're left with a free formula synchron. Just like in this situation when you go into the free boil Savage Dragon. Uh, we're going to kill the rest of his field. And we're going to go into the next game here. Uh, we have five games left. We're 14 and 1 I believe. And our, four, sorry. We're, we're, we're uh, 13 and 2. We would like to win the next five, put ourselves in a nine and one position for both YCSs. In my eyes, YCS, not a real YCS, but I'm saying if you go 20, if you go 18 and two, the 20 games on Dueling Book, 18 and two, you're putting yourself in a fantastic position to be able to top at a legitimate YCS. If you can go 18 and two with any deck, once you get to around, one, right now I'm around 1,000 rating. When you get to around 1,000 rating, uh, and now I'm not talking about 18 and two when you're zero rating or 100 rating. When you get near 1,000 rating and you're playing on Dueling Book and you go 18 and two, your deck is more than well good enough to top of YCS. So this deck over here, our goal is 18 and 2. At this point, we're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, this is our 16th game. So we have 15. So we're 13 and 2 right now. Our record right now is 13 and 2. All we got to do is uh, we're trying to win 5 more. If we lose 1 along the way, that's fine too. 17 and 3 is still, you put yourself, you're basically topping 2 YCSs in a row at 17 and 3. But these are records that are like huge. Imagine like a basketball team starts a season at 17 wins and three losses. Like that's ridiculously good, right? He goes Harold there. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna break your whole board right now, and I'm gonna have a great time doing so. Uh, I pen that. I literally get rid of all of his interruptions and on a uh, link cross the link. You guys see that? I bait the Harold. I bait the Crystal Wing. I bait the card that negates the spell card. Literally like nothing. Dragoon pop everything. Going seconds are easy breezy with this deck, bro. Too easy. So our 14 and 2. Our goal is to win the next four games. To so go 18 and 2. We go 18 and 2. We, we we hit our record that we're aiming for. So we have four more games to go. If you guys got this far, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Uh, this is going to be a new content I'm going to be trying to do it. Where I'm going to pick a deck here and there. 
for now is going to be the pendulum synchro deck which i truly from the bottom of my heart think is the best deck in the game right now i think it's just so fucking good man it's so 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 good dragon link if they if uh depends on the deck dragon link's the only deck that could counter it yeah pure endemian as well but pure endemian i feel loses to droll too much as much as i love pure endemian and everyone's playing droll right now this deck against droll you still have interruption that's the beauty of it like look at my hand right now like this my hand right now is a, a literally an ftk i don't know what random ass deck he's playing right now but if i was playing a meta deck i have multiple hand trip hand traps have lightning storm and i use a second ghost ogre as a tuner uh, and because Kepler is uh, the scale zero, uh, contract gonna search the scale zero. So it's just too easy, man. This is just too easy. This is too easy. Dragoon pop everything attack for game. Here we lose a die roll to Inferno Bowl, and that's totally fine because Inferno Bowl, man, they're a good, really good deck. But our deck could probably break their board at full power with no hand traps. As long as, like, look at their board. As long as they don't go VFD. To break VFD, you're gonna need the Mighty Master, and here we have the Mighty Master. Even if they VFD, we're probably fine in this situation. Their board is only three and a half negates uh, at best. So they're gonna go the pop one, pop one, look at my hand, Savage Herald. And I could probably break this. I did a misplay, scaling, uh, put it normal in the abductor. If I scaled the abductor, I could have normal my Lamia and go needle fiber combo. And all you have to do to break the opponent's board is very simple. Just uh, bait everything and then needle fiber combo at the end. So you could Verde Anaconda, Dragoon pop their two highest stack monsters and attack the lowest stack monster and literally kill, kill them. So, a little unfortunate, but it's okay. We win game two here, obviously. Uh, he bricks because he played way too many hand traps, and that's what happens. Game three, uh, we imperm the, his connector. I don't know why we imperm. We probably should have saved the imperm. That was stupid. And we we just lose there. That was a really bad imperm. I consider that a misplay. If he, you have no card for connector to discard, why the fuck are you imperming? I should have saved the imperm uh, for the needle fiber because he has no way to stop it uh, until I saw the herald coming, and then I hit the assault. But that's that's my fault there. Uh, we're gonna go to the next game. We win game one here. He's playing generators. Generators are actually a very interesting deck because they stop you from searching. If you search, then you're gonna uh, neg one. But that's totally fine. We go so good that we we also mourn the, the heart. I'm like, this is hilarious. I'll be actually two hand traps on my turn to stop him, which is hilarious. And we're, we're, we're almost there at this point. Uh, at this moment, our record after if we win this, which uh, as you guys notice right here, we're just gonna uh, dragoon effect and win. At this moment, uh, before the, the last match you guys are about to witness, we are 17 wins and 2 losses. So we are 1 win away here to uh, go for 18 and 2. Or, uh, sorry, we're 16 and 3 right now. We're trying to go for 17 and 3. So this is our last one until we go 17 and 3. 17 and 3 is our goal uh, for the 20. And uh, we win that game. If we win this last game here, we end up going 17 and 3 in 20 games unrated with this deck one of those games i consider a misplay we could have been 18 and 2 but you that's you got to take that on the chin you take that on the chin you to make a misplay you learn from your misplay and you move forward and don't make that misplay again i shouldn't have imprimed the connector uh because connector wasn't discarding shit from my hand i could have imprimed the assault uh we go here uh, he's uh, makes me go second because he's playing a missing my dino deck and then i just yeah, that was just a uh, good job. And he just ends up scooping here. I negate the lightning storm in this game. We're going to do a bonus one here. We end up being 17-3 and three after 20 games. So we're going to do a bonus one here against... This is actually in the finals of my stream. We're doing a stream locals. Every single day in my streams, guys, I do a stream locals. I win game one here where we do a top six... A six-player winner mat. First place wins a beautiful trip gaming play mat, which you can get on tripgaming.com. But... Uh, for this one, this is the finals. The winner of this, I entered my own tournament because I'm sick like that. Facing Salad. I win game one, the rivalry warlord just fucking destroys me. We're going game three here, and I fucking brick badly. His Gold Soaker destroys my Zephrath, and I'm like, fuck, am I really going to lose the finals here? Bonus round of the YouTube video, am I really going to lose the finals? Are we really going to do that? And then he access codes and kills us. So, yes, Pendulum is the best deck right now. Yes, we did lose in the finals here, my locals, but that's okay. You want to know why? Because the winner, Jay Tinks, gets a beautiful Joker Iris Kieran playmat. So shout out to Jay Tinks, who actually won two playmats on our tournaments. If you guys want to go enter one of the winner mats, very cool actually. Six players and maximum every single day on stream. Every single day, first six players can enter. Usually I take a slot so everyone can see me play the best deck. And then the, basically five entries. First place to win a playmat. Free ship tracking to wherever you guys live. Anyways, that's the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. This is a totally new take on Pendulums. Pendulum Synchro with 15 hand traps. Absolutely fucking destroys the meta. Unrated, we end up going 17 and 3. 
Uh, the last one is a bonus, so it doesn't fucking count. Pen best deck, let's go. 17 and 3 tops. Any YCS, you go tops. Two YCSs, because that's like 8.5 to 1.5. Does that make sense? That's essentially like 8 and like eight and 1. That's essentially like 9 and 2, 8 and 1. That tops any YCS. So, pen best deck, let's go. We top two YCSs. We top Dueling Book YCS twice. Let's go, baby. YCS Dueling Book 1, YCS Dueling Book 2. We top them both. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. And Pendulum Best Deck, if you guys uh, also want to support the channel, make sure to sign up on the Pendulum Training down below on Patreon, where you can learn how to play Pendulums. And we do five extra Pendulum Truth Gaming videos a week on the Patreon. So go sign up right now. If you guys want to get a beautiful Truth Gaming playmat on TruthGaming.com, get yours ASAP while supplies last on TruthGaming.com. And if you guys want to sign up for the tournaments, uh, make sure to check out the streams daily make sure to hit the subscribe subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next video Peace.